In this series, we're going to calculate the future value of a series of e uh, equal payments over a period of time that's earning interest at uh, the specified rate. So we're going to be solving for FV again, but now the PMT is going to be a positive number, or a, a, an actual number. So let's start with the first one. Donna decides to start saving money every year in an IRA. She put 5000 into her IRA every year over the next 20 years. It earns 5% annual interest. How much at the end of 20 years? How about if she earned 8% interest instead of 5% interest? Okay, so we're going over 20 years. The rate, 5%. The present value, zero. She doesn't have anything in it. Decided to start saving, which means she doesn't have any in there yet. We're solving for the future value. She's going to take $5,000 out of her pocket every period over the next umpteen years. Equals future value, because we're trying to find the value at the end of all of this. Rate, number of periods, Payment, present value. Hit the OK button. And again, I like to put the highlighter on so I'll know which thing, uh, which formula I'm actually calculating. If I copy this over to here and then change the interest rate to 8, it'll automatically adjust as long as I'm using cell references. So at 5% interest, a little over 165000 At 8% interest, a little over 228000 By the way, if I wanted to look at how much of that was interest and how much was principal, if I make 20 payments of $5,000 each, that means that I would have contributed, or Donna would have contributed, $100,000. So that's her contribution, 20 payments of $5,000 each, $100,000. If she ends up with $165,000, and $65,000 of it is interest. If she ends up with $228,000, Anything over a hundred thousand is interest, so it'd be one hundred twenty-eight thousand dollars of interest, all right, or basically twice as much interest. Right. So if I take the future value at five percent, the total interest is sixty-five thousand. Copy this over. The difference is if you go from 5% to 8%, an increase of 3%, you actually just about double the money, double the interest. You'll end up with the same $100,000 of payments, but your interest will be twice as high. All right, magic compounding. Cindy and Mike start to put aside money, put their nasty little kids through college. They get about $100 a month in an investment account that earns an annual rate of 9%. But they're putting money in every month, then it's going to start earning interest after it's been in there a month. All right, so we need to convert this for 10 years. If they're making monthly payments, 12 payments a year, that'll be 120 It earns 9% a year. But I divide that by 12 because it's earning it on a monthly basis. Decide to start putting money, it means the present value is zero, and they're going to be putting in a hundred dollars a month out of their pocket. All right, again, if I'm using cell references, all I have to do is just copy this down, and their 120 payments of a hundred dollars each is $12,000 and they end up with 19351 Now, If they save an extra 10 years, 
it's going to more than double though. That would be 240 months. And rather than doubling, it actually uh, triples. And that's because all the interest is earning interest on the interest. All right. If you save $1 a day into a savings account that pays a 5% annual rate compounded daily, how much are you going to have after 20 years? Okay, if you're putting it in every day, 20 years times 365 uh, days in a year means you're going to make $7,301 deposits. Take a dollar out of your wallet every day. If it is earning 5% interest, Remember, 5%, but we've got to convert it to daily because we're making daily deposits. That doesn't sound like much interest, and it's not. But through the magic of compounding, your $7,300 turns into $12,542. Stan and Ollie are having a retirement savings contest. Yay, Stan and Ollie. 25 years, Stan's going to deposit $1,200 per year in his retirement account, earning 10%. Ollie's going to deposit $100 into his retirement account each month over the next 10 years. And it earns 9.5% annual interest. Who's going to win? All right, Stan is using an account that is going to have an annual rate of 10% compounded annually. So that's a higher rate. And it's over a 25 year period. They don't the start with zero. And he's going to put in 1,200 per year. Ali, on the other hand, is going to make monthly payments of $100 a month. So instead of 25 deposits, if he's making 12 a year over 25 years, that'd be 300 deposits. But the compounding has to be adjusted for monthly. Add some decimal places. All right, so who's going to win? The suspense is killing me. So, looks like Ollie did a lot better than Stan did. Ollie putting a hundred dollars per month. Oops. Ollie putting a hundred dollars per month into his account ends up with more. And that's because after one month, his one hundred dollar initial deposit has already increased by roughly uh, 83 cents or, or 0 0.833 percent so his first hundred dollars is also going to have roughly 83 cents in there all right and that 83 cents will start earning interest on interest for time immemorial until he takes it out at the end of the 25-year period